Will you actually die? Oh, yeah. Watch him shoot this drone out the sky. I think somebody took her. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is crazy because two hours ago, I was planning a Dermtown trip going to Georgia tomorrow, and that kind of got canceled. This is way better. <laughs> is I it? Mean, you can admit. This well, is way what better. are we doing? Okay, we're going to go tranquilize some elk that got out. They've been out for probably two months. Yeah. Just wilder than all the <laughs> get out. This is try four of yeah. getting these out. Okay, okay. Basically, if we don't get them now, ODNR is going to kill them. Oh my goodness. Quick rundown before we get started. I'm flying to Ohio tonight. Did not plan on this. I literally two hours ago found out we were doing this. Some elk got out of a high fence operation and they've been out and we're going to go try to locate them with the thermal drones and tranquilize them. But uh, check out the whip, baby. Shoo-hoo, baby. You picked a big one, didn't you, bud? Yeah. Yup, we did. <laughs> Have you been in an airplane? Nah, no. Nah. Uh, commercial. Nice. Only commercial. This is gonna be great. Oh, is it? But uh, first time flying in a small plane. I've only flown commercial. Same with Peter. It's gonna be an adventure. We canceled the side-by-side -side trip and uh, here we are. About to be going 200 miles an hour. How high are we gonna be flying? Uh, we'll be at 9,000. 9,000 feet. Do we crawl in from the back or what? No, it's just a little bit of a you All right, Peter, you got first shot. Don't ruin our wing, bud. We yeah. need that. Yeah, we definitely need that. <laughs> I think it was fine. We'll be, we'll be a lawn dart. You do a lot of flies? Oh, yeah. You fly a lot? Oh, okay, yeah. good. Yeah. That's good to know. Peter, so, how are you feeling, bud? Oh, uh, it's getting real right now. Getting real? Yeah. Oh, I get the joystick. Yeah. If you have a heart attack, I can fly it. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, you, you'll, definitely be, you'll definitely fly it. So you're getting in here like this, yeah. and uh, you put your leg up there, then take this hand, put it down here, then transition. All right, sounds see good. It? Let's see if we got this one, boys, right here. Yep, 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 you got her. There you go. <laughs> That's right. So don't touch the joystick while we're flying. No, you can. Really? Yeah, you'll fly it. Oh gosh, okay. You'll fly. There we go. What year is this thing? You got the whole freaking uh, screwdriver handles right there, old son. Oh, there she is. What year is this thing? Uh, 2009. 2009? Something like that. Pretty nifty. I love the compass. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. That's how we're gonna navigate tonight. We're gonna use the compass. Sweet, so sweet, if, sweet. if the compass goes lost, then we'll probably end up in the Atlantic somewhere. Cool. <laughs> Peter, you like the sound of that one, bud? Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> What's your thoughts, man? It's getting real right now. Yeah? It's, it's about to go down. Hey, bud, hold on. Don't get dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. <laughs> in there bud oh yeah moving for the first time well guys we're about to uh take off i don't even know if you guys can hear me right now i can hear everybody through the headset but uh i guess i'm just gonna try to capture some footage but this is about to be wild oh man look at the runway that is crazy hell yeah are you nervous no i mean Hey, what happens what is what happens, all right? Two hours and we'll be in Ohio, baby. Guys, I'm interrupting today's video because today's video is actually sponsored by Exter. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what is Exter? Exter makes the baddest, the coolest wallets on the internet. Check this one out. You literally hit that button right there and it throws out all your cards ready to roll. You got a band for your cash. You got more card slots back here. They actually make a lot of super sick wallets and we're gonna go over a few. Exter wallets is actually modernized today's wallets for a slimmer, sleeker feel in the hand and ease of use. They actually make wallets out of high-end material like leather, space-grade aluminum, and even carbon fiber. The leather wallet comes with six different colors. The aluminum comes with 14 different colors and patterns, and the carbon fiber is honestly my favorite, and that's why I chose to go with it. This thing is just absolutely slick and sick. Now, all the wallets come with a super sick feature. You can just hit that button with your pinky. All your cards are right there to where you can grab them quick and easy. All of them come with a band for cash and even more card storage on the back. All their wallets actually come with RFID to protect from wireless theft. And not only that, but the wallets are actually designed to put trackers in them. This one you could use an Apple AirTag, or you could get an extra tracker card that you can put in your wallet and track your wallet at all times. This card is actually super sick. It's got a solar panel on it. Two hours of sunlight gives you two months of charge on this joker. Absolutely crazy. But you can just throw this card right into your wallet and you'll never lose your wallet again. They even have a key holder with a key tracker as well so you never lose your keys again. This is super sick. I've yet to put my keys in it, but I'm going to. As you guys know, I have a ton of keys and I'm always putting them on those circle hangers. They just do not work as well as one of these key holders, especially when you can put a tracker on them. That is awesome. Extra Wallet is actually having a sale right now. You can get 35% off for Father's Day all the way up to June 20th. So if you guys want to pick up one of these wallets, now is the time to do it. Get your father a gift. These these wallets are super sick. I love mine. They have a ton of exclusive bundles to choose from, to save you money, and to get the perfect Father's Day gift for your dad. Big shout out and thank you for Extra for sponsoring today's video. All the links for Extra will be in the description below, and let's go back into today's video.
down, baby. We have made it. We're in Ohio. Peter, bye. What What was it in the, like the PJ, baby? What'd you think? Dude, What'd you think? At first, yeah. A little, a little, it was pretty really sketch. <laughs> said it for me, but it's, it's something that you, you'd want to experience. Yeah, man. that that was that was sick, Mike. Yo, yeah, yo, shout yo. Out to Big the thank you, man. You didn't kill us. Yeah. We're alive because of you. See, it's, it's not that bad. Everybody thinks it's bad, but... <laughs> that, that was pretty fun. I don't know where all this video is going to go. We might do some turkey hunting, but we got to go catch these elk. Like I said, I don't know if you guys heard me, but I'm running off three hours of sleep. Woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, and it is 2 a.m. So uh, we're going to hop in the car. We're going to run and grab Mike's truck, and we got elk to try to tranquilize and catch. They got out of this high fence, trying to get them back. Gonna have to put the stalk on them. First, we got to go find them with the thermal drones, which is going to be so sick. So uh, I'm just going to pick you guys up. When we get the drones out. All right, boys, we have just made it out here on scene. How far is the ranch from here that they escaped from? About two miles. Two miles. So these elk have moved two miles from this high fence operation. I don't know where we're at. It's dark. I kind of fell asleep in the truck, but uh, it is five in the morning and we're getting the drones out. Mike. Yo, tell me a little bit about what, what that drone is, man. Okay, we got uh, thermal imaging drone. Yep. Uh, camera here. The big, camera is 200x zoom, ain't yep, it? Yep, big zoom camera here. Absolutely and a wide crazy. angle here. It's mind blowing. And when you see it in person, <laughs> you know, seeing it in person is what really puts it over the it, top. Uh, it really surprised me. So these drones, we're gonna fly them up in the air. They got thermal imaging. We're gonna fly them around, see if we can't find these elk. And once we find the elk, we gotta go get a dart gun and we gotta come and try to dart them. I keep telling the guys we need rope. They don't believe me. We fit in to find out. Check out this controller though. That thing is sick. That's a lot better than my old DS, you know? Yeah. Looks like we're about to launch the first drone. There's one. There's two. Peter, what's your predictions, man? I think they're going to find them. You think so? Putting one down is going to be the thermal's going to find yeah. them? Mike, how long are you giving it? Mm, I don't know. Let's go with uh, 15 minutes. Oh. oh, look at the deer. He's got the spotlight on him. How freaking cool. That didn't take long to find some animals. No. Look what's at that? the spotlight beam running off the drone up there. I'm just going to quickly check the uh, the fields, Fields. make sure they're not out here. Every time I see this in person, it makes me want to buy one. So if you guys haven't seen this video right here, I actually had Mike come out and do a survey on my 100 acres that I recently bought. And that's when I first seen these things in person. They are absolutely amazing. But uh, I'm going to keep filming Mike. So if we find one of these elk, you guys will see it firsthand. If we find one, we're going to have to run, get the dart gun, do some practice with it, and uh, come see if we can't stick them. What we got? What we got? That took a while, but hey. We're all the way over here. Where are we at? We're here. Oh, shit. oh, they went where I was gonna go. So originally we found them right there. Oh, no that's, shit, they're yep. heading back to the farm. Yeah, then. so that's where we found them originally. That's where I was gonna go, because basically I took it. Show me where they're at. They're right there in this field right here. We found them. Go. Can we, oh. Let me see, let me see. All three of them? Let me see. Them. All three? All right. Oh, they're out in the field, aren't they? Yeah. No way. Let's go, huh? <laughs> Go, let's man. go, man. Yeah, let's grab a crank gun and get to work. I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing on some camera. We gonna need it. All right, boys, we are camoed up. Luckily, I had all my turkey hunting stuff ready to go, so uh, I'm gonna throw on a face mask. Probably gonna end up crawling to these up. We gotta run and test out the dart gun. We gotta go shoot that thing, figure it out. We're getting everything packed up real quick. Uh, we're gonna see if we can't catch an elk. Mike, what's the plan, dog? Alrighty, folks, we are uh, headed to the lodge and we are going to get educated on how yep. to shoot trank guns. <laughs> Do you know how to shoot a trank gun? Uh, it's got a trigger, I'll figure we it got, out. <laughs> we, we got five guys in here. Nobody knows how to shoot a trank gun. So we're gonna learn how to do that not see where we're going because Kevin slides blind in me as um, normal <laughs> and then we're gonna come up with a game plan and we're gonna get these elk doggone it I have always wanted to go on an elk hunt and we're doing a catch and release <laughs> <laughs> is that not great let's do it that, that's a hell of a first one looks like they're out in a big field right now hopefully we'll be able to crawl to them I'd really prefer doing it in the dark I think we'd have a high high Dude, chance if, then if you could crawl up on these things that would be pretty sick I 100% I could in the dark I gotta see the situation like if it was cut down like a golf course I think I could still do it in the dark how many days are we gonna try this because if we have enough time right yeah we can't do it yeah 100 but uh we're probably gonna be dealing with the sun coming up whenever we're doing it i mean it's there's gonna be a lot of variables elk's yep. got great noses and uh depending on the terrain and whatnot hopefully the sunrise will actually work in our favor and it'll almost blind the elk the way we're crawling into them it's a possibility but uh it's gonna be a fly by ear kind of thing once we get there that's when we're gonna figure it out but Let's go get this gun. Let me show it to y'all. All right, guys, we just made it down here to uh, the lodge. We're gonna get a trank gun out and uh, learn a little bit about it. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Well, it needs one of those right there. Yeah, one of these bad boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that thing is done. Alright, oh, we gotta focus on water. Yeah. <laughs> Trank guns, dark guns. Oh, here we go. Dude, got Those you look like some high end pellet guns, what they look like. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> this is the best one. Yeah, that's the best one. So those are off 22 LRs, right? Yeah, so these are work a little bit. That's crazy. Wow. Don't poke yourself with that yes. sucker. Do not. Or we will die. Nap that's time. No, no, no <laughs> joke. Nap time. So forever, nap. forever nap. This is basically how you do your range. So five is your longest. Uh -huh. Now wait, so you're gonna jack it in there, and then all of a sudden you're closer. Now you got to take it out and. Adjust I wouldn't it. worry about it because I think the elk's hide are so thick. I'd leave but, it on five. So Gary was telling me they they farm, and now he said this is different because they're whitetail. But he said if let's say you're too close and you got too much power, he said your dart mount bounce before you get the injection. I've never had any issues. This skin's a little bit different. So this one here you can adjust on the fly right there. Oh, okay. that's sweet. So how many of these darts are we gonna have? How many guys are gonna be holding the gun? We'll take all three of them, but I didn't know. Like if we miss or something. Well, we can give you a couple more darts. So this gun is going to be your toughest gun. So that's how you open it. Yeah. And then your darts right there. Will you actually die? Oh yeah. This is what it does. It slows the elk's heart rate down to where they get sleepy. You imagine yourself being like three times smaller than an elk. Your heart will slowly to a stop. Mike, these things are pretty sick. Oh yeah. Put an elk to sleep. Are you Thousand jacked? pound animal to the ground. So these you. actually run off a 22 LR cartridge, which is yeah. cool, and this one's just CO2 or compressed yep. air. Yep. Gonna be wild if we pull this off. Go ahead, get this thing in the truck. I got the black gun. Hopefully it's sided in. Peter, what you got? I'm rocking with the, with the brown one. With the brown? Look at us right now, dude. We're look like you're about to go. to go turkey hunt. We're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna go set up, get the drones back up in the air and see if we can't locate them. And it's gonna get real serious when we start sneaking in on these things. The boys are getting to work quick. So these elk are just on the other side of this valley. Hopefully they're still in that field and we can get a game plan and watch kind of what they're doing and where they're going, what the winds are. It feels like we're, the wind's right. The wind's going this way. So that's good, but uh, should be interesting. We'll see how this, this pans out. Let's go ahead and get the drone up, get an ID on where they're at and uh, see if we can't make the stock on one. See if they're in this field. They're probably not gonna be in there. Right there, yeah. That's okay. them. There they are. Hey, Flip and hear that drone. They know what's going on. We're gonna have to watch them till they settle down. Could be a bit then. Yeah. Wow. Elk catching in Ohio. 640, almost 27 hours without sleep. This is great. Basically, since Jay and Kevin have already slept, yeah. or slept, wow, slept, you, I, and you sleep. Yeah. They watch the elk until they bed down, then we make them. Yeah, let them bed down. I think I got a four hour nap calling my name. We're gonna be here a while, baby. We're gonna watch these up, let them reposition, let them get bedded down, and then uh, try to sneak in and try to get them. All right, boys, I came up with a game plan. So we got a south wind. We need to get on the other side of these elk. These elk are currently moving left to right, so they're pushing in the woods this way. If we pop them like that, they're not gonna go, see, they're not gonna go down this valley, but they're probably gonna run these ridges. But, but the problem could. is the wind's going like this, right? So yeah, but the elk are right here. Here. We might need to set up more on the north side or the south side. We need to set up right here and that way if they come to this field We should still be able to clock them But basically instead of trying to like man drive or push these out or try to stalk them We're just gonna set up in front of them on the upwind side So we don't get winded and have a guy like, every hundred yards We can cover a 300 yard span and got pretty good odds of them elk crossing between somebody within the 50 yard mark It's like if we get a shot we got a nip. So I think not, that's gonna be the game plan I want to set that. up sit we're talking about just napping in yeah, the truck, sure. but uh, yeah, I think yeah. just setting up out in front of them letting them come into us yeah. shooting them as if you're shooting a deer i think it's a pretty good idea it should not spook them we get sneak in there real quiet set up 300 yards out in front of them or 200 yards out in front of them let them work into us and somebody's gonna pop them let's do it all right boys so we are currently moving locations these elk are not moving they're kind of locked in on the same spot there's no way we're gonna be able to sneak up there if they bed so what we're doing is we got permission on the property beside it we're gonna come in from the other side the upwind side we're gonna set three guys up on a line and we're just gonna wait it's the only way we can set up on them currently with the wind if they move off you know we'll re-strategize but if they bed right there i really don't think we're sneaking up so we might have a guy go on the downwind side not bump them bump them but not bump them just get some human smell to drift their way so they stand up and come towards us the upwind side they're on this big hilltop and they can either go back out in the field or drop down in this big bottom if they just stay on the top of that hill and work upwind we got them. we got three guys with guns we're just gonna make it happen we're probably gonna record on our phones just so y'all can capture it but uh once shit happens it's gonna happen quick so uh yep. let's get it all right guys we're rolling out we got the tranquilizer gun peter what you thinking let's go get these bastards let's get it
So they are directly under the drone right now. And it was literally to the spot I was heading to. It's so crazy because the drone's right above them and I can see the drone. There's the drone right there. That's where I'm supposed to be sitting. I'm gonna try to make it to this hedgerow right here, this big pile of brush, and at least get to right there. I got within probably 150 yards. I'm just trying to kind of wait them out right now. They're just milling around. Kind of want to get in a little closer just to set up better, but where I'm sitting now ain't really it. I need to be able to shoot on my right and left. They're like pretty far away from you, heading away from you. Just stay on them. We're gonna have to figure out how to reset up. I don't think they went with us. I don't think they heard us. They just kind of started milling off. They have no direction. We'll see what happens. All right, I might set up on the front head of this hedgerow and let them work around. South towards or away? All right, I'm gonna try to get in a better spot. All right, guys, it is 11 o'clock. I have officially been up for 30 hours. Thanks, Mike. But uh, we just got so close. Me and Peter got so close to shooting this out. We're going to try finding her. We lost her after she cut across the road, but uh, trying to get her back on a thermal drone. The thermals are not great right now. The sun's came out. It's warm. It's hot. The sun's heating up all the trees. But I think we're onto something. If we just come in at her at every angle, keep the drone right above her, we just watch where the drone goes and we can cut off and get in front of her. I think we're going to get them like that. I really do. Anyway, I know this is just a mess of footage. At this point, we're just trying to get the elk down. Hopefully we get some footage from deer drone recovery so you guys actually have a storyline, but uh, it's been pretty rough. We're gonna continue and see what we can make happen. Here she comes, boys. I thought I heard her coming to me. Heading away from the road. Try to get out front. So I'm dead in front of her and Peter's dead behind her, trying to get Peter to push her up to the road. Go. There's Peter behind her. Where is she at? There she is. Oh, guys, we're about to hop back in the plane. Mike, how did the elk hunting go? Not so good. The elk <laughs> hunting did not go so good. We could find him, right? We can get on him, but yep. close that distance 50 yards super hard. Super with, hard. with a trank gun. Rifle, all day long. We're basically trying to sneak up on these elks into bow range that are already spooked. We tried corner them. We tried everything. But we're hopping on the plane not to go home because we're calling it quits for the thermal rescue missions. What do we got to go find, Mike? We got to go find a tortoise that escaped its tent. Yeah. And, uh, it's been gone for three days. So three days. The big question is, you know, will it have thermals? Yeah. Because we don't know. So we're going to be hopping up in this plane real quick. All for a turtle. And uh, who knows, how far could that turtle have went? How do you lose a turtle? I don't know. But we're hopping in the plane. We're about to take off and uh, see if we can't go rescue a turtle. Peter, what are you, what are you thinking about uh, taking a trip in the plane with the current conditions? I, I heard it's going to be worse than the first time. Yeah? First time scared the shit. <laughs> I think uh, Peter's going to be clenching his butt so tight he's going to rip a <laughs> hole in the seat. <laughs> That's that's my my theory of what's going to happen. Probably might need to take a little bag here just in case someone's <laughs> going to throw up. This could be a little bit of challenge uh, for us with the drone because if it's this windy down there, it's going to be a lot windy up here. Oh yeah. Peter, 
You wiped the tears? Yeah, you I'm good? good? We're good. <laughs> <laughs> that was good stuff. That was, that was, that was great. It definitely, that was the funnest I've ever had. <laughs> Dude, I just, I'm not a roller coaster guy, I'm not a speed demon guy, and I don't like being that, how far are we up? Uh, 4,000. I don't like being 4,000 feet up in there. <laughs> Alright, I'll grab the stuff if I'm cameraman today. My cameraman never carries nothing. <laughs> he just carries the camera. <laughs> We're going out here to try to catch our ride. We got a turtle to find. We didn't just fly out here for nothing. I'm out front. Oh, perfect. Sweet, perfect timing. That was good timing. Nice. That's yeah. us. Bro, look at all the room back here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is legit. <laughs> well. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. Did I hear a possible Sweet. sighting? Possible sighting? Possibly. I'll let you see what you think. Come on, let's go. That's a. It's hard to see, but like, tell me that by. doesn't look like a turtle. Close by. Oh, on a trail camera? Yeah. It better not that be bluffing us. Is. No, I mean that was just a little bit ago. Is it, does it look like a tortoise? That looks like a turtle. So oh. we have access to the entire road, yeah. except the very last house. But we have access everywhere else. The park across the street. I've already contacted the rangers, they said go for it. What would be the chances of Dude, walking, right? walking right in front, front of a trail cam? Yeah, what time that, was that? that is set on the ground. Yeah, what time was that picture? Uh, about four o'clock. So, recap, we got they got a picture of the turtle on a trail cam in somebody's backyard, right? Somebody's backyard? Yeah. An hour ago, so it's looking good. If that is really a turtle, right? no, it's, a, it's a turtle. We're it's not just, leaving without oh, a turtle. Okay, the so head you... seemed very pointy, and this but, okay, turtle. Okay, so you track. Is there any water back there near where that camera was? So she does not like water. Uh, I know, but would that uh, turtle have gotten out of water? Like a big Close snapper. Swamp Three creek. houses down there's a pond. There's Can no we way. See that again? That's way too big to be a snapper. Look how long, how big the back is. I like how her shell is very rounded in that picture, but just the head looks like it's pointed. Wow. I don't know about y'all, but well, we're not quitting until we get that turtle. Oh, no, no. Are we going to get this turtle? We're going to get a turtle because there's one there. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds a 30 pound or more snapping turtle walks in front of a trail camera as we're looking for a turtle? I've never seen a picture of a turtle on a trail camera. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Right? I never seen like one. It has to be. That has to. Yeah. What's her name? Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan! <laughs> we're going for it! Alrighty, I guess we're here. It didn't take we're here. a couple minutes to get here. This is the yard she got out of. Um, we think she got out on the side, like of the like the driveway. Um, we've searched these woods over here as best as we could. Oh, she could be anywhere in there though. She could, she be. could be anywhere. And I then... say we start where the trail camp is. Yeah, let's go to the Okay. Let me yeah, pick, let's just let me walk get my there. wife. Yeah, okay. Oh no, it's the other end of the street. Oh, it's that really? far? Really? Oh my dude, god. Can they go that far? Dude, Where if they're not they? eating, people say turtles are slow, they're not slow. <laughs> Tortoises, they grow so big because they eat constantly. Yeah. But if he doesn't want to eat, that joker's walking. Hopefully he found him a good snack and he'll stop and he'll slow him down. But three days, mm -hmm. dude, this turtle can be making some ground. So we're looking at where this turtle got out at. How did it get out of this fence? Oh this yeah, home. that's probably it. But wouldn't it leave like drag marks or You would have thought. Yeah. But I mean, we have been all around this entire yard pull, uh -huh. you know pulling on the fence looking the tortoise has to love all those dandelions why did it want to get out i know i don't know because it, it ate the crap out of it all off the ground where did she come up to right Probably. there Okay. I'm telling you, that's that, that turtle. Well, that, that shell matches if she's that tall. In in the picture, the turtle's head looks very pointy, which could be a common snapping turtle, and they cross properties mm -hmm. all the time to get the okay. water. But yeah. height-wise with the shell, doesn't match the snap. So yeah. I think our next spot is to go look over there. Mike finds it under the porch. The sad thing about that fence and how that turtle actually got out is, the turtle's not going to be able to get back in. So if we don't find this turtle, it's going to be bad. We're going to make this happen. They've been looking for this turtle for three days straight now. So what's happening when it comes to like turtles digging holes? Yeah, so tortoises, they bury um it's just what they've always done and there's normally in sand but when you have them in places like this you'll they'll mm. get in the dirt but yeah dude they can dig up to like 30 foot into the ground not straight down yeah. it's just a, and then they'll so, make tunnels and left and right so if a tortoise goes through here could you see where it went or no yeah i mean they're, they're pretty heavy and on the back um their their shell kind of drags a little bit and imagine if you were 55 pounds walking on fours you'd you know you'd kind of squat a little bit so it all depends on how fresh it is mm -hmm. but i mean you could track where one's eating i mean do they do some damage if that tortoise crossed gravel we should see it right uh just look when you step in the grass you can see kind of where that boot print is yeah so if a, a turtle came sliding through here and we got on it pretty quick you're going to be able to see the grass yeah. where it's laid over oh uh, you're also looking for turtle shit because they're they're pretty it's just a long turd, man. What? Yeah, yeah. And what? And there'll be grass. Are you serious? And there'll be grass and like everything in it. So it's you'll tell that, that, that's the turtle shit. <laughs> no yeah. So we're really just taking an another look at this fence, but the sheriff's department just pulled up because I guess this place where they had sightings is 
a sketchy area. No big deal. Uh, they just want to protect us. Man, big this is a lot for a turtle. Big turtle cage right here. <laughs> so, we're going to get closer to where this turtle sighting was. There's four <laughs> cop cruisers here, dude. Yeah, there's four Oh cruisers. my gosh. Flew in on a plane over a turtle. Now we got four cruisers back here, and there's two cops on every cruiser. But supposedly there's a landowner over here that might give us some trouble. So, uh, we're just going to see what happens. Forever. Where there's broken fences, we cannot go on the other side of it. But we can go anywhere that way. Where's the uh, trail cam? It's right over here on the ground. Let's go. So the trail cam is right here. We're looking for tracks. Yeah, I'm just looking for my tortoise. Okay, so here's the deal. I guess that landowner is a little not nice, and um, they're scared that they might shoot us. We're being a little easy, tiptoeing around here, trying to just get a sign, right? If we could get one sign, we know where to start. Yep. Okay, so you just tell me where you want me to launch, and we'll get started. I mean, that's all we can do, right? Uh, I don't know if we should launch here or if we should launch down at Todd's. Probably somewhere we have power. Okay, let's go back to Todd's. Dude, this is just, it's just getting weird. It like, is weird. So there is a security camera, literally. Shining. Not the trail cam, a security camera pointing where the trail cam is. Yeah, there's this, right, what he just said, and they won't let us look at it. They, they told us to not come over there. Okay, okay, did you ask him about the security camera, if you no. could pay him something to look at that footage? No, because I didn't realize that the one was a security camera. I knew that there was one from the images that she had sent, but I didn't realize that he had one. Yeah, so that's a trail camera on the ground. Okay. That got the picture, but mm -hmm. then there's a security camera up here the looking. That would tell us right now. I'm open to offering him to see the images if he's willing. You're a good so talker. Do you want to go talk to him? Me? Yeah. I ain't much of a talker. All right. I'll just make YouTube videos. Wait, are you going, Peter? Oh, Peter, you got it. Peter might punch him. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's 500 cash. We need to see the timestamp. I'm not paying him money. I don't, I don't. It's whatever they. That's fine. Good, let's take a break. Let's get the drone up. We can search his property. And once we search his property, if nothing comes up on this end, then we'll talk about paying him to see the dang image. But because we could fly over there, find the turtle instantly, and then, you know, we didn't even need his picture. So we're about to have Mike launch the drone. We got a lot of drama going on. We're gonna go search this side over here. This is where the trail cam picture was taken. This is where a little square acre we're not allowed to look. So uh, we're gonna get the drone up and see if we can't locate this chance? thing. Watch him shoot this drone out the sky. So when I go back over, we're gonna hit across these woods right here, and then I'm gonna run on these railroad tracks and try to see if uh, it's only two patch of woods there. If she's not there, she could be grazing somewhere else. How far do you think she could travel in an hour? It's been an hour since that photo. Oh, an hour? Three, four hundred yards. Really? Dude, they Goodness. Moved. They moved, dude. Here comes back up. What are you doing, Peter? We're gonna go find her. Yeah, y'all have at it. We're about five minutes into the first drone search. Hopefully we find this turtle. A lot has gone into this already. So we do have a turtle on the way another tortoise we're gonna bring them out here check to see if this cold-blooded animal is actually gonna show up on thermal it is a lot smaller i feel like the big one's gonna if it holds any heat it's gonna hold a lot more than the smaller one she's gonna go grab that and we're gonna check it out what you thinking mike i don't know yeah i just don't know i don't know if it's gonna have thermals we fixing to find out i mean it's it's good out right it's overcast yeah. uh i am picking up thermals but oh i hope we find I want to find it so bad. If we left here without finding this turtle, it's because somebody stole it. We're going to cover all the ground. Mike's actually plugging in the controller to this TV so everybody can watch exactly what he's seeing. Let's check out the video game we got going on. Reaching maximum altitude. That's sick. Is the turtle in there? Yep. What's his name? It's Clyde. Hey, Claude. What's he up, just buddy? chilling. Yeah, we're looking for a lot bigger one than that, aren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually full grown. He's full grown? He's still, yeah. What kind is he? Herman's tortoise. Okay. He's how old? 16. Huh? Yeah, the one we're looking for is a lot bigger. He's so cute. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's definitely warm. Definitely has thermals. Yeah, I see him. You see that red? Was he in the house? Yeah, under the heat light. Under the heat well, light? Can we let him cool like down for a little bit in and check it? Yeah, he'll cool down. Just oh, yeah, he's warm. Yeah. Do you think yeah. this guy is like that, though? The one we're looking for. Um, if they got out in the sun to pass. Okay, so this guy definitely shows up, but yeah. we don't know if the turtle is warm that we're looking for. Yeah. We're gonna let Clyde get out here and get cold and see if he still holds heat. Hopefully Lieutenant Dan has held enough heat from the sun earlier today that uh, we'll be able to see him. What's the new status? Nothing yet, man. We're getting pinned by this property line. I think the next game plan is there's so much shit in that dude's backyard, man. Like, it's a thousand places where she can be. If she's not there, and because I just I don't, I don't want to look any other place other than the direction she was two hours ago. So if she's not but there, man. But how do we know that that was the turtle? We, we, she showed me two pictures. We got one at, two, one at nine and one at four. It's just a little bit later in the day, but it, I, I saw the picture, but I didn't yep. look at it closely, but we, we can tell if it's, if it's her, dude, but... I think he has it, man. You really do? Yeah. I think the neighbors took it? Yeah, he's being a jackass. 
It's been about 30 minutes. We're checking to see if this turtle still shows up. It's still showing up. She is? So, so like, perfect. if your TARDIS gets too cold, it might just stop, right? I don't know what she's going to do. I mean, if she's cold, she's probably just going to, yeah, stop somewhere. I'm getting cold. That is cold. We're going to get uh, in the car. Brayden's going to order DoorDash because we're going to stay <laughs> here. The thermals are good. If the tortoise has heat, we're going to find it, except the neighbor took it in his house. That's my prediction. My thoughts of everything going on right now, I feel like the picture was a shadow. I got a closer look, not bouncing around in a car. Really looked at it. I have a feeling it is a shadow. We've covered this half very well. There's only so much over there we have to cover. There's train tracks that that turtle can't make it across right here. There's a creek that comes around over here and then there's big ponds over here. This turtle's not crossing water and it can't get over the train tracks. We got it pinned. We just got to find it. As long as no one stole it, we're going to leave with it tonight. What are you looking at? Hot spots. Wood. That's nuts what I'm picking up with thermal. I'm picking up the birds. Look at the bird right there. Look at his eyes, bro. That camera's so clear. He's looking up at it. And he tilts his head. That's insane. You've covered a lot of ground. Yeah. Covered a lot of ground. Um, picking up all kinds of, well, anything with heat, right? Birds, chipmunks, groundhogs, finding it all. Ugh, I just don't know. Like, I don't think it can hide. So that being said, either somebody took it yeah, somebody took it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I mean, frustration is happening, but we're going to keep searching. I mean, we ain't giving up. We got to find this thing. Lieutenant Dan is not ending like this. Swap the batteries in the drone. Let's send her up. I think I found something that is very suspicious. Yep. And I was watching it for a while, and then it just boop. Disappeared. It disappeared. Now I can't find it back. We have to drive down there because uh, I think it's it. I, you I really think, do. I do. You think it's the turtle? I think it. Man, it's already getting dark out. <laughs> as soon as he said something about it, I was like, hmm, okay. We had a heat signature, then it disappeared. So we're just gonna go check it out. Maybe it found it and then it went under the ground. Don't get your hopes up, but we're gonna go make sure. I'm freaking shaking because I like. We flew here. <laughs> We've been at it. I just don't. I just hope it wasn't a groundhog. That That's went, my only concern. That went in the hole. And now we're gonna be reaching in there and we're gonna get attacked by a groundhog. No. You're gonna see me drop kick a groundhog if it's a groundhog. So here's where it escaped. Yeah. It's right over here on the right. It's right over here. They said they've looked in there, but it's really thick. My thing is it had to go down in something for it to just disappear like that. And it's so close to the house too. I gotta go look. Let's go. Oh, Mike's running. <laughs> We're currently running after a turtle. Let's hope it's it. There's plenty of vegetation for them to eat in there. Oh shit, a lot of water. Uh-oh. What's in the hole? Something's in there. It's not gonna fit. Nope. There's another hole right over here. Her size do the hole have to find <sighs> like that? I was so freaking convinced. Job done. It was definitely groundhog though. Yeah. I think somebody took her. Oh goodness. It's not good. I would have found it. I guarantee it. What in the hell is that? There's a head to a baby over here. A baby doll head. What? Hell no, I'm getting out of here, cut. Mike, it's dark out. Yep, it's dark out. We're still looking. Uh, I don't feel like we are going to find the tortoise. We have downright tried our best, and we're going to continue trying. We might not even be able to fly out of here tonight. It is looking Oh, we're going to fly out just later. What was that? I, I heard fly just out. Just later. Not now, right? Because, guys, it's, it's freaking windy. We're going to keep looking. Give it another hour or two and cross our fingers. Well guys, we are packing it up. We're about to fly back. Did not find the turtle. We tried everything we could. We really have. We have searched our butts off. I mean, if you guys seen the map of everything that we have searched, he's not here. Started looking into it. Tortoises cannot handle cold. It's been real cold here. It's real cold right now. He could be dead. I don't wanna say that. This really sucks. We put in a lot of effort. This whole video, we've put in a ton of effort trying to make this happen. And it's just, it's not going well. I mean, we flew out here just for this turtle. Not everything always goes to plan, but uh, I'm gonna try turkey hunting here in Ohio tomorrow morning. Hopefully we can seal the deal on that one. I mean, everything down to that elk hunt, man. I'm so thankful I got out here to come out here with Mike and chase down elk. I've always dreamed of going elk hunting and I finally got to do it. I know that wasn't filmed the best. It kind of got to the point where it's like, okay, we just need to get a freaking elk on the ground. It just didn't happen. We came close. I've had, I had them in my scope multiple times. It's just down right hard. But if you guys would smash that thumbs up button, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on with next one.